I've been like just trying to maintain being truthful on camera. This is not truth. This is narrative that will be edited, yeah, but there'll all be choices. That's not truth. I'm trying to self-Truman show myself. There's public and private, and then there's masturbatorily public. <laughs> we might need one more layer, actually. <laughs> I'm revealing too much. Being honest is cool until you have a reason to lie. <laughs> I always wanted my father to be proud of me. What did you do? I'm a good driver. I'm just not, uh, like, a good turner. Well, I have a boyfriend now. When I came out, I yeah, reacted like someone died. It hurt my feelings. Mom basically said I was going to hell. I didn't write the Bible. I don't think anybody's being hard on you. I think people are calling you to do better. Mm. And Lord, I come to you, Gerard and I, take the desire from my son to be with a male. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I love you. Okay. This has to be discussed on camera. Yes, I bring in cameras, and yes, that's my way. And yes, I'm afraid to have these conversations without them. Let's just blow the shit wide open. Then you got your otters, hairy, chubby, somewhere between a, a twink and a bear. <laughs> Then you got your twonks. Some people call those muscular twinks. Shout out to Gerard Carmichael for it, you know, just being honest and transparent. I feel like these are the type of documentaries or the series that people watch and they feel like, hey, yo, this changed my life. This helped me come out to my parents. You know, this is one of those type of situations and he's showing the struggle that a black family has accepting him and his sexuality. And I can, I'm not gay, but I can imagine that that's not something that's easy with a Southern black family. He from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I am currently in Nightdale, North Carolina. So trust me, I understand the mentality of uh, the older black people in this type of region. That is, that's hard. It's top shelf hard right there. And um, shout out to Gerard, man. Will y'all be watching it? Like right now, uh, I love this last, uh, Carmichael, I love this last um, comedy special, uh, Roth Child or Roth, Roth something. I love that joint. A uh, very intimate setting. I love comedy that's that's like really intimate and it seems like it's conversational. So I, I freaking love that. And made me feel like, um, put me in the spirit of Neil Brennan's Three Mics. You know, it's not reinventing the wheel, but it's a different way to do comedy. So I love that uh, joint. And I feel like he's becoming a person who's going to be known for his transparency and his honesty. Um, we champion people like Patrice O'Neill for being somebody that was honest to a fault in some situations because his honesty um actually ruined a lot of opportunities for him when he could have just um played the quote unquote hollywood game and went along and be used and knowing something was uh outside of his moral morals but still did it because he knew it would further his career he was somebody who stood on principles and you know ultimately it made him not get as far as he would have gotten if he would have um uh, given up those principles and it seems like gerard carmichael might experience some of that you know we might see some of that in the show but right now he seems like seems like he's really flourishing and people are embracing him for being his true self which is ultimately amazing that we see that happening now because uh shoot i don't even know how many years ago i want to say 15 years ago even coming out the way he's coming out talking about the things he's talking about he might not be embraced the way he's being embraced now so just leave it in the comments man will y'all be watching the show i'm i gotta check it out i support everything gerard do man his sexual preference has no never mind to me i think he's a great uh writer and entertainer so you know i'm all on board man to support him so if y'all gonna watch it leave it in the comments yo my homie is up there sucking feet i don't even know if i would put that in there that's like a level of intimacy I can't even imagine, you know, <laughs> that's the thumbnail, yo, Gerard sucking feet, yo, you wild, but uh, <laughs> thank you, man.